here, and uh, I'm looking forward to what he's to see what he's got in the tank. Yeah, but and, and you say that ZG has that tournament experience, which is true. But Xiao is no slouch either. He's come one match off of top 32 in the last two majors he's entered, and then he's also playing a character like Ibuki, where if they can just get that one hit, that one little bit of momentum swinging their way, especially against a character like Vega, it can be all over. That's right, Thomas. We move into the first match for the Gfinity Elite Series here in Week Three at the Hoyts Gfinity Esports Arena. Into match one as we go into Xiao versus ZG for the Sydney Chiefs. Here we go into round one. So what you're going to see here is ZG is going to play this game here with Claw, where he's going to try and keep Xiao at a range. We can't use his crouching medium punch in those kunai's. Right, and you can see here that uh, ZG is keeping Xiao at a range here. Now it's really annoying him with those light normals. You'll see the Claw come up later from ZG presumably get to those Ooh, command throws. Big jump in early. This is bad for Xiao. Big advantage. He's working on a perfect. All right, Xiao down to about 40%. He's in big trouble. Here comes a 50-50. Right, block. Oh, that's it. The throw, and just like that, Yo. ZG opening with a perfect. What a play! A Perth Ground Zero and Xiao looking a bit lost yeah, here. No. Like he's lost his zest for life, rubbing his face. We better make something happen here. It is, that is, that's a bad start. You do not want that, especially against a player with the caliber of ZG. However, playing Ibuki, it doesn't matter what the last round happened. All you gotta do is get that one little hit, get that bit of juice flowing, and it can be all over in seconds. That's right, there's that big standing half punch. So here Xiao. it is. Here comes the 50 50 mix up. Ooh, all right, get right. So, so he's gonna try and repeat it again now. All right, great block. Ooh, start. Are we gonna see another peak? And we might see a reverse perfect. Oh, he's gone for the mix up. 50 -50. Oh. There it is, all but very well blocked. Oh, no. Xiao, but unfortunately, he drops it. So, going to try and finish off ZG. ZJ's in serious trouble. Come on, come on, one more hit, one more hit. We gotta go to the shimmy ZG. Oh, okay, there's the slide. Out. Doesn't activate his own V trigger yet. Throws Joe back to the corner. Oh, oh and there's Joe with the perfect anti -air. Strong, strong air to air. That was a great turnaround. And Joe looking Joe's like out. he's just woken up again. ZG thinking about what he can do next in this round to close it out. It's round three. It's anyone's game here in the first round, in the third game. As we know, the Chiefs are the favourites here statistically. But if Sioka get this first game on the board straight away, this could be massive. However, ZG saying no to that right now. Oh, right. look at that. This and straight into the critical line. This is going to be big damage on Ibuki. Oh my god, look at that damage, that's like 45%. Now he gets a meaty situation here. Right, a fantastic medium, look at that. And Sio's in trouble, that stun is almost double there. Double P. And oh, there's the command it. grab. And it's the ZG trademark, he does it with a double perfect. And there he is, looking at the camera, Ooh. tapping his skull. And that is it, ZG putting a double perfect to open up game one by the Sydney Chiefs. I'm so impressed with that play, Tom, that was oh just my fantastic. God, that was ridiculous. The, the fact that Sio, came, Sio rather, came back and fought so admirably and took that round on almost, we almost saw three perfects. That's right, that's like, right. That's you don't see that happen. But ZG, you know, having that tournament experience that you mentioned, he just adjusted a little bit and then just got the mojo flowing and it was all over before we knew it. That's right, and here we can see the replay here from round one. This was a perfect, an opening perfect from ZG, but Sio fighting admirably, and there's that big jump in, no anti-air from Sio, unfortunately. He's finding himself in the corner very early. There's the throw, doesn't want to press a button, and look at ZG just so. sniffing out that jump back, and there's the throw to close out the first round with a perfect for the Sydney Chiefs, and you have to be feeling pumped after that if you were ZG. Oh, of course, and if anybody on that Chiefs roster, it's like he's just come out with a bang and he's just asserted himself and said, look, this is everyone's saying this is our series to win and this is why I get blown up. That's right. And we've got a blockbuster match coming up now as we move on to the next game. It's going to be Repuppelzorg versus BK Summer. It's going to be an R Mika versus Urian matchup. Who do you think's got the best chance in this one, Tom? We can't we cannot discount Rups, right? Mika is a powerful character and Rups is a man who is not afraid of anything. However, BK is arguably he's probably top three in the country. You know, and he had he came, what was it, ninth place at a Battle Arena Melbourne recently? That's correct, and yes. So it's, it's, and I believe Urian fights Mika fairly well because Aegis Reflector is such a good tool. So I think this is almost 5-5 down the middle for who's going to win it, 50-50, but I think it's just BK's, it, because of the reputation, it's BK's game to lose. That's right, BK had, does have this game to lose, especially with that strong opening from his teammate ZG, yeah, with exactly. a double perfect there in game one. Mm. And uh, Repubblesorg will know that going in, he has outstanding mental strength, it's one of his great uh, strengths as a character, is his mental strength under stress. And yeah. as you said, Alex, sorry for interrupting quickly, but here we go, he's definitely going with that Mika pick. He is going with that trademark Mika pick, he's not going to go for Abigail now, yeah, so no. the game two, it's going to be Repubblesorg versus BK Sama, Repubblesorg representing Perth Ground Zero versus the Sydney Chiefs, as we move into game two. This is interesting, I'm because these are two very volatile characters. One of them gets the hit and starts moving, 
and it's just aggression. And then both of them sort of struggle with defense a little bit. That's right. The game really will start once both players pop their V-Triggers. Let's mm. see how they can grab out the neutral game now in this opening salvo. Oh, cool. Dash forward for the throw yeah. straight away. BK Summer trying to send an early message to Rups. There's the overhead. Well, the knee press. That's going to be a, an issue for Rups if he does not start blowing that up with Mika's crouching medium punch anti-air. That's right. And Rups answering back with his own command throw there, perhaps trying to throw BK Sama off his game early on. All right, great. Ooh, block I think I on the neutral jump there. Yeah. Very well placed. Blocks that standing hard punch from you. want to do that all day if you're Yuri. And there's the fourth throw. Rups is in trouble. He's going to have to pop Vitri. Yeah. Oh, Look at that back hard punch. Oh, no. I'm Ooh, not sure what the show. Unfortunately, that was a bit of a drop there from Rups. Oh, that's his last legs now. Oh no, this is a bad start from Rups. He's looking a little bit shook. You don't see this very yeah, often. He was, a bit, he was a bit far away from the command throw there. You can see Rups getting a little bit frustrated with himself there in the first game. Let's see if he can bring it back here in round two. Look, I don't want to. I don't want to tell any tell no tales. But we said this was going to go seven games, Alex. Yeah. We did. We and did. this is looking. This is looking like a quick 2-0. Oh. I don't want to see this, man. Well, look. Let's see if Republizor can make the magic happen here. He's doing uh -oh. a good job, and unfortunately, he's finding himself blocked in the corner now. Yeah. No overhead there from BK Sama. Oh, good. Just good. good interrupt. Yeah, that's a very go. hard one to block. I've been caught by that one. Oh my god! Three times. Oh, and look at that crush counter. Oh, good read. And a fantastic read from Rux. He's going to get rewarded with a full combo here. It's not going to be enough to kill. Let's Re see if he goes into the 50-50 here. Yep. Here comes the V trigger. Oh, that was sick. Same side. That was sick. Ooh, and Rups plays perfectly in round two to bring it back around for well, Perth ground zero. The reason that was so sick is because everyone expects a mix up there. They're that's like, right. oh, he's going to go to the other side. And then he just jumps straight up and did The old double negative. All right, Ooh, that's, that's, that's going to be a punish there from BK Summer. It's not going to knock down. He's just going to go for the headbutt. Oh my god, look at that damage. That is look ridiculous. at that headbutt. And Rups has to do some winning here. He's in big trouble. All right, there's the EXP to try and get some stun back. This Anybody's is, game here yeah. in the neutral now. Okay, BK Summer dashing forward, trying to get some offense going. Rups down about 50%. Here comes the V trigger. Ooh. Oh my goodness! Oh, look at for Rubs, and you know Rubs loves that one. Oh Love that God. one for days. A fantastic crush counter doesn't follow up. This is, oh, here we go. Okay, corner now. This is Rubs. Rubs now Rups with a chance. Oh There's my the God, head button into the V trigger. Uh oh, uh oh, uh, reset time. Oh, he dropped the reset. And right, he's out, out of the corner. Rubs is out. I like that play. Mm, strong Both players play. backing off. It's anyone's game here at yeah. the moment. Both even on health. Oh, strong over. BK Summer dashing confidently forward. Oh, good anti air, air to air, rather. I can't believe oh, this. Is that going to be it? That could be it. Is he dead? He might be dead. And oh. just like that, and Rubs puts a game on the board for ground zero, promising my not God. to disappoint, and he's done it, Tom. I oh, love it. My goodness. Like, is, was it just me, or did it feel like he was backpedaling that entire game? I know. And then here he is, he just won. I know. Well, you'll notice last week he did that as well in his game. He finished it off with an EX command grab, just waits till you've fallen asleep, oh, and dude. he's in there just with the, just when you least expect it. Yeah. And of course, that works so well as Armika, and Rups does such a good job hiding that, and I think he just honestly caught BK Summer off guard there at yeah. the end. Yeah. No, that, that, um, the EX Rainbow Typhoon, that command grab, is ridiculous. Ridiculously good. Capcom just keep buffing it. That's and, right. As a maker player, I enjoy it because now it does something like 250 damage it and it reaches ridiculous. That's right, far. it does a ridiculous amount of damage. You can see here in the instant replay here, right in the last seconds like, look of at round three, and there's the range. And look at the range on the EX command grab and just closing damage. out. Round three oh, man. for Rups, and what a fantastic play there from Rups. Really proud of the way he played there. Putting oh, a yeah. game on the board there for Perth Ground Zero. It is now one game apiece in the oh. match of Perth Ground Zero versus Sydney Chiefs. As we move into our third game, we're going to see Dookie T versus Somniac. Yeah. Now, these are two very strong players as well. Dookie T, uh, arguably one of the best guys in Australia yeah. alongside Space Ghost. Yeah, and definitely. he's going to go up against the best player in Australia, Somniac. Yeah. Now, this is typically a bad matchup for Bison yeah. in pretty much every Street Fighter game out there, I think. Guile yeah, versus definitely. Bison. It definitely is. I think, um, although Bison has the more tools than he's ever had to deal with Guile, but it's just always been that sort of one-sided affair. And I noticed during the walk-ins that when they found out that Duke was in fact playing Somniac, um, there was a pat on the back and a bit of cheering. So this mm. is what these guys have gone for. They bet all the marbles on this matchup. Now we've got to see if it pays off. I know that Duke has been training very hard recently after that disappointing first showing. So this is his time to prove himself. This is his time to say, look, I'm playing like the bet one of, if not the best guy in the country, and he has been for a very long time. I have underperformed my teammates, but now I'm on the biggest stage against the biggest name. It's time for me to close out some games. That's right, and it's time for Dookie T versus Somniac as both teams go up one game apiece in Ground Zero versus Sydney Chiefs. Here we go into Game Three, and this is Dookie's game to win as Guile versus Somniac's M. Bison. Let's see how we go into this third game. So we're going to see. Oh my goodness, the aggression straight away. So this is what this is what Som's going to have to do. He's going to have to fight his way in. It's going to. It's not going to be pretty. He's going to take some hits, but it's just he's just going to have to play this dirty man's game, you know? That's and right, and look, Dookie T unfortunately not ready to anti air, getting thrown in the corner now, he's in big trouble, he's got to get that stun oh, now. Oh, and there's a flash kick, he's going to oh, make dearly for that. No. Is and this a piece? Are we going to see a perk? I don't think it's going to be quite enough, Tom, to finish Oh, he dropped it. 
All right, a very brave throw attack there. There's the oh, EX doubles no. reverse for a very clean, perfect Sydney Chiefs racking up their third perfect already oh, against Perth Ground Zero. A lot of, I'm seeing a lot of butter today. I'm seeing a lot of big yellow bars, Alex, and I'm loving it. That's right, a lot of Tokyo bananas, as we yeah, used to call them yeah. in Street Fighter 4, Tom. All right, and we've got Dookie trying to establish a ground game now, trying to keep some away. There All right, here's the big is, crush counter. This is why Guile beats Bison. This. This is not This is not what Dookie did first round. He's going to have to keep this tempo and pressure going. Otherwise, Song just going to always back yeah, in and look again. how easy Song can just get in with that EX Devils reversal, that EX Head Stomp, I'm sorry, in that case. All right, there's the slide. Not oh, enough V-Trigger for an activation yet. Straight into the back throw. Psycho Act. And I love that V-reversal from Dookie right. there. That was an excellent choice. Oh, he went to anti-air it. Anti-air it. He was very lucky about that. Whoa. Yeah, he's in the second. He's one for two on, though. He's going yeah. for it again. All right, oh, there's big the big damage. jump, and this is going to be big damage. It's not going to be enough to finish off Somniac. One more Almost. hit, though. One more hit that's over. Oh, and I Ooh. love, I love oh, it. Oh, now, great jump back. Just called the slide there. So I'm looking a little bit confused. And Dookie just, sh just nodding his head there. He knows he made a fantastic read there. Some looking a little bit rattled, but let's see how he moves into round three. I like it. Oh, my goodness. What are you doing, Dookie? That's just dumb. Let's, you you got to play better than that against a guy like Som. Come on, slow it down. All right, there's the EX Sonic Boom. Trying to put some space between himself and Som. There's the EX Devil's Reverse with a standard EX Head Stomp. I'm sorry. And I see that um, Dookie, when he goes for that Head Stomp, is just trying to jump back, jab his way out of there. And it's an interesting choice, but I don't think it's actually a great choice against that EX Head Stomp. Yeah, well, there's the B-reversal there, of course. The EX Devil's Reverse is so plus on block, he has to do something about it. Okay, both plays about even on health now. Somniac with a perfect already on the board. Dookie has to be oh, careful. Looks like Somniac's read. trying to slow it down now. Dookie T's taking the fight to Som now. Som's in trouble. No review reversal yet. Okay, Som had the V-trick. Here comes Shinbot. Right, that's what he was waiting for. Here Guessing comes... Oh, oh my goodness. Big, big damage. The X flash kick. Oh, we went for the throw. Okay, okay. Dookie T doesn't want to press any buttons now. We're going to see him oh. in the flash kick now. And oh, dash my us in the oh. down kick. I don't oh, believe it. This could be oh, the he, DT's game. He dropped it. He drops it. It's anyone's game here. He dropped it. All right, oh, there's throw. the fourth throw. Fourth throw. Okay, we're hang on. see if I can. Does go for the second fourth throw. There we go. Oh, he pressed the button there, boys. Oh, what? I don't know how to call this time. It could no. be anybody's game. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, God. Oh, 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 the oh, 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 T has taken out Somniac for Perth Ground Zero. Oh my god. I can't believe it, Tom. I honestly thought Somniac was going to take that in the that seemed, zero sweep. That seemed so yes. like one sided. And yeah. all of a sudden, Dookie just oh, turned on the gas and just went for it. That was incredible. That dash in from the corner when he was oh, on his last leg, straight man. into the upside down kick. It wasn't a hit, but he still managed to take it out, even after suffering the perfect in the first yeah. game. And GZ is yeah, yeah, cheering nah, for the crowd the here. I love in. it. I love it. That's it. It's like nobody thought these guys were going to win. And here they are now. They're up 2-1. That's right. All right. And here we go into the third and final round here of this game. We can see the massive damage getting doled out by Dookie T here. It's He's it's got Somniac in the corner. Somniac refusing to use that V-reversal. He just pops off his V-trigger there. Now, here comes the damage. It looks like it's all over for Dookie yeah, T. Like, at this point in time, like this is where Bison wants you. He's got a life lead. He's got his V-trigger out. Right, and Dookie. look at that dash forward. My goodness, that was and such then, a ballsy move. But then Dookie gets the opening with that, and, and then he can usually get a long combo there, but he dropped it. And we're Whoa. all like, we're all like, oh no, it's over. And then all of a sudden, it's not anymore. It's not anymore. I'm just looking at him using the sonic boom as a shield to move forward. Somniac knows he's in trouble. And with the oh. overhead to finish out the round just like that, I like that overhead. That was a beautiful finisher from Dookie T. He really deserves the win for his team there. That was just fantastic. Yeah, that was incredible. And Somniac undefeated no longer. Undefeated no longer. That's right. Thanks to Mr. Dookie T. No more undefeated record for Somniac. Speaking of undefeated, let's send it back to the undefeated duo in esports television. Let's send it over to Luke and Lockie. Oh, thanks for the compliments. Huge stuff. We're about to take a break, but don't go anywhere because let's have a look at where it is right now. Yes. So sorry, I came out on, uh, yeah, lost to ZG straight up, so Sydney Chiefs got the first one, but then GZ have started to dominate 2-1, 2-1 the next two games. Can GZ close it out? Can they keep up this hot run? Don't go anywhere. This is intense gameplay here at Street Fighter 5 G for the Elite Series. We'll see you real soon.
Welcome back to Street Fighter 5 here at the GP Elite Series in Sydney. Checking out the Perth Grand Zero there. Feeling pretty good right now, I'd imagine, about to go into game four, where Perth Sio is going to be taking on Somniac from the Chiefs in the zone. Chiefs obviously working out what their, what their attack plan is now. They've got to, uh, got to come back hard to stay in this. Lockie, is, uh, is, it, is this where you think, thought it was going to go? Because you thought it was Chiefs. Yeah, to be honest, not at all. Ah. Uh, Dookie. Where did that come from? <laughs> and Rupps. I mean, well, you know, yeah, you, well, we, you're expecting it from Rupps. Yeah, I was like, expecting that type of thing. Because yeah. Duki has had a pretty rough Gfinity series so far. Mm. This is the first game he's won. Yeah. And against Somniac, yeah. of all people to, to win against, that's really, really, really good. So, uh, you know what? I reckon they could do it. All right, Perth Grand. Yes! There's a vibe in the room. It could be Perth Grand Zero. That's enough from us, though. Let's get back into it. Over to you, casters. It's time to fight again. Good to have you with us once again. It's game day live from the Hoyts Gfinity Esports Arena as we kick off week three of the Gfinity Elite Series for Street Fighter V. And what a match that was, Tom. We just saw Dookie T take out Somniac in the previous match. I wasn't expecting that at all. Now we've got Sio versus Somniac for Perth Ground Zero. All the pressure is on Sio to take out Somniac again now. Yeah, no, I, um, Som Somniac has a history here of if he drops one game, hell, if he drops a round, this man just will come at you like a monster truck next That's time. That's right. So I'm, I'm, I am expecting a very aggressive opening from here. I am uh, expecting a beatdown, Tom. Ooh, I absolute yes. beatdown. Mm, well, the thing is, Sio disappointingly lost his last game as well, so he's going to be looking to open with a win here as well. He's another player that is not expecting to ever go 0-2 at anything. But exactly. All right, here we go into the Ooh. first game now, and a great neutral jump from Sio as he tries to put up the pressure now on Somniac. Somniac trying to keep some space between himself and Sio with a standing hard punch, but there's the V skill. Sio's not oh, having any of them. In. So look at this neutral pressure. Som's just getting straight Ooh. out of it with the EX doubles reverse. He's not having any of it. It's, it's interesting here. These are two aggressive characters that sort of have to get their offense rolling with their V triggers. However, Ibuki gets hers a lot quicker and can build it more reliably. So, like, see, the Fuma Shuriken is already ready. Watch for Sio to get one hit. Somniac is at a life advantage right now, and he has all the pressure in his side, but if, if Sio gets one hit... Quick. And look at oh, this aggression uh, from Som. He is not happy about losing no, that last no. game. I expect him to keep that pressure up, and it looks like Ground Zero is a bit on tilt now. Sio's going to have to be careful to get that defense up, because Somniac is angry. He's not a happy man. No, no, you would not be after that last loss, so we're going to have to see an adjustment here. Good start from Sio. I think Sio's playing well. It's just Som came out with this aggression that I don't think Sio was prepared for. That's right. It's been around now. It's time to adjust and get into it. And that's the second time he's just eaten an Aaron Devil's Reverse. That's right. Mm -hmm. And Somniac typically a very defensive play to lead Ooh. the hangover. So it looks like it's okay. Sio's turn to go in hard now. Here comes a 50-50. All right. So oh, another side, one! Catches Somniac with the throw tech. One Somniac in big trouble oh. there for cross-up. And a fantastic win in round two from Sio for Perth round zero. That was a great turnaround, Alex. I love the way that Sio just switched it up. He goes, okay, Som's attacking me. I'm going to attack him. No more of that garbage. That's right. It's anyone's game here now. It's one round apiece. Perth ground zero is up 2-1. They can take this game. Sio will take Perth ground zero to 3-1. But right now, it's Somniac doling out the damage with the plus frames on those Psycho Axes. But Ibuki's almost got a bar of V-meter. But there it is. All right. This is seen, and this is where the game starts for Ibuki. She needs to get that Fuma Shuriken and get those mix-ups going. And it, the, the onus is on Som to make sure that that doesn't happen. That's right. And Sio's down about 50%, down to 40%. Oh, it's combo. almost stunned. Let's we'll see if we get the throw from Som. There it is. He's going to try and get a stun oh, on Sio. He's not almost in. We're going to see an EXDP. We're not. Oh, oh, back back. Back. oh, and that's a very unfortunate drop. Just unfortunately in the range of that Psycho Blast. Uh, and bad. Som takes it for the oh, Sydney Chiefs. Very well played. We're now at 2-2 in its Ground Zero versus the Sydney Chiefs. Perth Ground Zero, I should say, versus the Sydney Chiefs. And look, I think that could have gone either way, Thomas. Just yeah, an unfortunate no. loss for Sio. We had a range on that Psycho Blast here. We're just going to go to an instant replay here yeah, as we go into round, round two. I love the way that Sio adjusted here. He just sort of, he picked his point and went, OK, Son's attacking me. I'm going to switch up and attack him. That's and right. he, as you can see, he started baiting throws with Ibuki's overhead, which is a very strong offensive tool. And then there it is again, and all of a sudden, this round's over. That's right. Ibuki, of course, one of the only player, one of the only characters in the game who was able to combo off their overhead. And it's, it's such safe a on good, block, too. That's right. Oh, and safe on block. Such yeah. a good tool. And uh, Sio has used it very, very well in that game, but unfortunately was enough to take out the king himself, the supercomputer Somniac, and uh, a very good win by him there, I think, Tom. Yeah, it, like, look, as we said, it's it's very unlike Som to drop two games in a row. Mm. So it, it's I'm, I am not surprised that it went that way, but at the same time, you, you could be kicking yourself if you saw because that looked like an Aaron Button or something. Yeah. He, just ran in, he just ran into that Psycho Blast, which was just really interesting, and I'm not sure what happened. But 
We've got much more Street Fighter action coming up. Like right now, we're going to look at Rups versus BK again. The run back, Alex. That's right. Rapuppelzorg, the star of the show. Everybody's magic trump card, and it's going to be Rapuppelzorg versus BK Summer. We've seen this match earlier in the day today, and uh, Rapuppelzorg taking it over BK Summer. Let's see if he can repeat the magic again. It's going to be interesting because, like, that was a very scrambly match. I don't think anybody really had control. Like, like we said, Rups was. And on the back heel, about 70 to 80 percent of that match, and then all of a sudden he won. Mm. So I don't think there's much adjusting that either player can really do here. It's just about, again, like we said, who's going to get out of the gate first? Who's going to get those big buttons, those big fierce punches? You know, knock the other guy down, get that V trigger going, and just take over. That's right. As we move into game five, it's going to be Rups versus BK Summer for the Perth Ground Zero versus the Sydney Chiefs. It is now tied at two apiece. Whoever takes this game will put their team up three two. And Rupp's looking calm and content and stoic. ready to go. Stoic is the word. Mm. BK Summer looking a little rattled after that earlier loss to Rupp's. Don't think he was expecting that at all. Oh, this no. is his game to lose again for the Sydney Chiefs. The pressure is certainly yeah, on them as we move into this fifth game. This Here we go. Pivotal one, I think. This is the most. This is almost the most important game of the series. If you get up three-two, it puts all the pressure on the other guy. So these two have got a lot of weight on their shoulders at the moment. Speaking of weight, get that big jump in straight away. And look at that early damage from Raps. He's already got BK Summer down to about fifty percent. We're going to see an Aegis reflector pop in a moment, I'm sure, from BK Summer. He seems to be saving it to try and get the health down from Raps a little bit further. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, good confirm from BK. Now all of a sudden we're at. Oh, no life deficit here, right. we're both even. All right, and Rups Ooh, pressing very go. few buttons there in the corner right there. So Kamara oh, grab, just gets that. him locked down with the Natashingo mix up. Ooh, I love that. Right. Here like comes Man in the Mirror, which oh, way no. is he going to take? And unfortunately, Rups pressing a button. He's going to pay dearly with some damage there. Here comes the jump in to try and finish him off. Oh, I love that fair burst from Rups. Get that pressure off him. Now Rups is able to attack him. Oh, 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 makes it out in time. I love it. Oh, my God, what a scramble of the EX Peach. Oh my god! BK, look at him, he's baffled! BK just serenity now. He's looking a little bit disappointed with that one. And Rups yeah. looked like it's just another day in the office yeah. there. Not yeah. rattled at all, despite the fact that he got away with murder. No, no, he just threw out a special move that's incredibly oh, awesome. And, and here we go! And here comes Rapuzzle with the EX shooting peach. He's going to try and continue that winning streak against BK Summer. Oh. Can he take BK Summer for two games here at the GP? Oh my god! Look at the wall! Oh. DP, he just right. BK <laughs> Summer bet the whole farm on that yeah, one. He had enough. I, I, that was a gutsy DP from BK there. If he had a, if he had a blocked that, round over. That would have been round over. over. Oh my goodness. Aegis Reflector is ready now though, so watch out. BK's going to look for that probably crouchy. Oh, oh no, yes, no, 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 He's not going to give BK Summer time to armor up. Take We've got it. one more guess here. All right, doesn't oh. opt to go for the command grab. Here comes the Aegis Reflector, man in the mirror. Which way is he going to go? Rups is not going to press a button. All right, there's a mix-up. The the slow rise. I like the block on the overhead. Minus two. Pressure. Oh, Pressure from BK Summer now. Oh my okay, god, there's a and that's it, it up and Rups has done it again, he's taken it 2-0 over BK Summer. Alex! I don't believe it, and Rups is playing out of his mind today, Tom. I know, Grand Zero are up 3-2. They're up 3-2 over, over the Sydney Chiefs. And look at him, he doesn't even care. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He's like, yeah, you know, that was a good game. Peter, the pop-off. Where have you been all my life, the star uh. of the show. Rups is here, ladies and gentlemen, at the Gfinity Elite Series. We're just going to go to a quick replay now. We can see here in round one, and we got uh, Rups with an early lead yeah, but BK, over BK Sama. BK was showing he's on his A game. He had those counter hit confirms with that crouching medium punch, but Rups just attacked. He just kept I, going. See, I don't crap. think BK Sama is playing badly, Tom. It's no. just that Rups is playing so well. Yeah, I know. Like, he converted off the A just that is maximum damage there, and then goes in for that jump in, but. Rups just has that read, you know? I, like, this I, scramble was nuts. I know, and you can see here the big drop there from Rups, but it gets away with murder and finishes off and with the EX shooting again. confirmed off the standing medium punch. Very well played oh, from Rapuppelzorg. A well-deserved win, and he is just playing beautifully today here, Tom, at the Gfinity Elite Series. Live from the Heights Gfinity Esports Arena here, and we are getting our money's worth today, Tom. We have oh. got a fantastic match coming up next. Ooh. We're going to have Dookie T versus ZG in our next matchup. So it's going to be a Guile versus Claw. This is going to be an uphill battle for oh, Classic, classic Street Fighter matchup, mm. man. I, I, I don't know if I can handle another game like that, Alex. I'm not even. <laughs> we're sitting here, we're, we're here talking, and I'm shaking, man. I thought I this was going to be a. We spoke before this. We thought this was going to be a 4 0 or 4 1. Mm. Let's be honest. Uh, no, I, I, did, I predicted you this. Predicted you predicted this. All right, okay. okay. So it's. And this one, this one's interesting. I think. I think that this is this is a classic Street Fighter matchup, right? Mm. Seen it in Street Fighter 2. You got Guile, you got Vega, right? And I think Guile 
has the edge here, but in this game... Oh, oh, oh no, he's gone for the cami. He's gone for the cami pick. I like this choice. I like this choice, because like we we're about to say, Vega just has issues dealing with those Sonic Booms and that, like, Dial's oppressive sort of defensive style. However, Cami is a very strong character, and I don't think she really has problems with anyone in the game. So I think, and ZG has had the pocket Cami for a long time, so let's see how it goes. That's right, and of course, the Cami is his secondary. He's not his main character, so perhaps will it be as strong as his Vega main? Only time will tell as we move into the first game now. Sydney uh, Chiefs is down 2 3 to the Perth Ground 0. And let's see how ZG's Cammy has been. Great confirm off the crouching Ooh, pick him. He's got go. Dookie T already, already in the corner. That's the power of Cammy. Oh, it jumps out. Goes for the dash under back throw. Okay, here we go. Cammy is a press. He's in the corner. Yep. Dookie's got to get out of there. He's got to get out of there fast. And he's doing a good job right now. He's not throwing boom specifically because Cammy has a great anti-fireball tool in the EX Spiral Arrow. So I like the way that he's playing this matchup. That's right. And ZG is staying just at the range where it makes it a little bit dangerous for Dookie to throw those Sonic Booms. Dookie already had to pop his V-Trigger. ZG backing off a bit. Both characters about even on life at about 50%. It's anyone's game here. Yeah, and it's interesting. You see Dookie with Dookie T whiffing these buttons. It's to try and bait ZG into going for that EX Spiral Arrow because he's pretending to throw the Sonic Boom. That's how trying to trick right, him Tom. into it. Yeah, the more he can bait ZG, the better he's going to do, but it's so even here. Ooh, good. A great punish Spanky. on that whiffed EX Spiral Arrow. If, if I'm correct, I believe Dookie plays Kami a little bit too, so it's interesting. I think he might have a little bit of a grab. Oh, there's the instant overhead. I like it. Just trying to get ZG down. That's oh, 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 there's yeah. the EX Sonic Boom, and Perth Ground Zero is on a roll today on set against the Sydney Chiefs, and they are on Ooh. set point now for Perth Ground. Round zero, awesome. it's all up to Dookie T. If Dookie can close this round out, but round oh. zero will take a 4-2 over the Sydney Chiefs in a massive upset. This is incredible. I thought this was going to go seven games, and I, here we are. I don't know what's going on with Perth Round Zero. Oh. I, think they've had, I think they've been drinking too much oh. coffee. They've got the magic inside of them. It's, this is massive. Like, ZG just dropped a BNB combo, and Dookie's just playing with this solidarity, this strength that we didn't see from him previously in the series. I know. All right, great neutral jump. Ooh. Here comes ZG with the power up. The V-Trigger has been popped. He's got the critical art on deck, so oh, any here, we here comes Dookie T with his own oh. trigger. Right. Oh my See. goodness! Oh, oh. Whoa, he just did it! And that is the Dookie special. Oh! Oh! oh. And it's almost He's done! Oh! oh. That's it! And Perth, round two, has taken it in a massive upset over the That's full one! That was incredible! And Dookie T and Repuppelzorg showing that they are the stars of the Gfinity Elite Series here wow. at the Hoyt's Gfinity Esports now, Arena today. I have some massive news on that. This puts Ground Zeroes above the Chiefs in the standings now for Street Fighter. I'm, I'm speechless, Tom. I don't know what to say. Perth Ground Zero is is on a roll. That was incredible. And these the new kings of Street Fighter V in Australia. The young boys. I love this. This is nuts. They just took it to the champs. This is what we've been saying all series. A complete reversal of what I think of what both of us expected, and certainly what, what Lachlan expected as well. Perhaps. Yeah. Uh, was, yeah no. Nobody was expecting Perth no. Ground Zero to take out the Sydney Chiefs, especially not in a 4-2 fashion it's like such that. Such a convincing fashion. That was straight rounds. I, I can't believe it. And uh, Perth Ground Zero has every reason to be happy to be oh, themselves yeah. today. No, they're going to go home Very and well celebrate. Played. That's that was right. An incredible effort. I am, I am absolutely gobsmacked. Especially, you know what? I've got to give credit to Dookie T. Mm. You know, after after everybody was talking about that first showing in the first week of the series, you know, the way that he just got mocked in a matchup he's supposed to win. Mm. And then he's come out today and I reckon he was the he was the pivotal character in that matchup. That's right, and let's just go to have a look at the replay here. We've got the first round. Dookie T's got the first round, he's on a set point now for Perth Ground Zero. He's trying to make something happen here against ZG. ZG's got him in the corner, but there's that V-Trigger pop. Just and to get out of the corner, great block there from ZG. Look at this big flash kick. Like, that's not yeah. even invincible. He yeah. just went for yeah. it. And I, I've, I've seen him do that many times before, and that is the Dookie special, as we like yeah. to call it. And just finishing it out with the EX Sonic Boom. And what a fantastic play there for Dookie, and both Repuppel's Orb, but especially Dookie with a lackluster yeah. performance in the first couple of weeks. No. But really making up for it 10 times over with a win 4-2 for Perth Ground Zero over yeah. the Sydney Chiefs. What a match. I can't, I can't believe it. Well, actually, you know what? I can believe it because guess who predicted it oh, that's right you did me nobody predicted. nobody believed me but no that was that was an incredible set um that was really fun to watch <laughs> that was very well um, done very it was well done indeed like i think i think dookie like i, I can't i can't give that man enough credit the mm. fact that he came and took out like two of the australian kings mm. in succession mm. and zg didn't get around mm. he didn't get a single round that's incredible i can't believe it rups is the alpha male and looks like dookie's making a play for Ooh, captain yeah, of the team there. so rups is gonna have to play really well next week i mean he's, he has to look out for that yeah, I'd like it was just I, I'm I am absolutely gobsmacked, Alex. You know what? And you know what? I, I want to hear I want to hear what Luke has to say about that. Let's send it over to those guys and let's let them have a chat. Just a massive first match. I mean, that's what we're so pumped about here at the G Elite Series, having it in Australia. That kind of gameplay. This is how it went down. So 
Chiefs came out strong at the top, 2-1. ZG took the first one, but then it was all Rups and Dookie T smashing him in the second two games. Somniac back, showing us why he is the best player in Australia. But then it was all Rups and Dookie T again. 2-0, 2-0, making it 4-2 to Perth Ground Zero. And the great man himself is sitting at the desk with us. Let's have another round of applause for Rups, guys. Come on, give it up. Rups. You weren't that confident going in, but you really dominated when you're out there, dude. Yeah. Uh, I feel like the tournament format really benefited us. Mm. The short sets. We play really explosive characters, so mm -hmm. it's really easy to take advantage. In a more traditional tournament, I don't think the results would be quite as good in our favour. You're uh, so humble, it's insane. <laughs> you just smashed him, man. That's so good. Yeah. Over and, to you, uh, Lockie, yeah. Yeah, so Rups, you, came, you first BK twice, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? The first game, you lost one round, uh, and then after that, you didn't lose a round. So how, how, what was the adjustments you were making in that? I just tried to stop making as many risks as I was making. Just playing just, safer. Yeah, just wait and play reactive to what he was doing. I yeah. feel like as long as I don't force the issue too much, uh, I was pretty safe. Yeah, nice. So we'll look at game one, and we'll talk about that. Oh, sorry, game two, I apologize. Okay. All right, so uh, at this point, uh, BK will have that first round. Are you, do you, are you feeling the pressure at this point? Cool. Uh, yeah, very scared. Uh, not very good against Urien. Very yeah. experienced with, against the character. Yeah. Uh, at this point, it's all just mix-ups. It's all just forcing him to guess wrong. Yeah, right. And I got lucky. And you got lucky? I don't think you got lucky. I think you... Uh, a little bit of outplaying, a little bit of smart play from you there. <laughs> hey, I don't know about that. Don't know about that? Well, either you made a few good guesses or he made a few good guesses. Uh, going here, this from here, you don't take, uh, BK doesn't take a round off you for the next game and a half. So he starts off a bit strong, getting you really close to stun. You've got to be feeling a little bit of pressure right now. Yeah, but once the stun bar goes down, I just need to yeah. kind of stay in. Not. Not take as many like random uh, stray hits like EX tackle, which is incredibly fast. Yeah, and that was very lucky. I did not <laughs> expect that to work. Messed up there. Oops. Oops. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now you have him in the corner. He's close to stun. Were you expecting the EX headbutt, or did you just focus on that stun? I was expecting it, but if I, you know, if I if I live to fear the headbutt, then <laughs> what, what good am I? You got to show him you're not scared. It doesn't matter if he does it or not. And the command grab to take the victory. That was, was that max range? No, I think it would go a little, a little bit, a bit further. It's pretty damn That was a lot of damage and big range. All right, well, let's have a look at game six I think we're going to look at now, which is uh, Dookie T showing some of his sweet moves. Yeah. Oh, man. This was a, this was a good game. Uh, ZG, actually the Vega player from before, picking his secondary in Kami. Uh, probably thinking the matchup favors Cammy a little bit better. She does have a lot of options to deal with the brooms. Uh, looks like uh, it was going to go CG's way, but then uh, Dookie, out of nowhere, played some really solid guard game, keeping Cammy out, not really giving him a chance uh, to really get started. And like, that jab there from Dookie, showing he's not scared, because uh, that was Cammy's turn. Like Cammy got the knockdown and. Uh, he was probably scared of a, a flash kick and Dookie knew that, which is why I chucked out that jab just to check him. Show, show ZG that he wasn't scared, so. Yeah, Dookie was very scared going into that match. Yeah. He really didn't want to have to face ZG's <laughs> because that is a very difficult matchup. Yeah. And uh, I feel like he tried to play as untraditional as he could with Gal. Yeah. And very few booms, very focused on just normals. Yeah. Which is good, because Gal, yeah, Gal has a lot of really good normals, a lot of good command mm -hmm. normals. So it really worked out for him. Yeah. Yeah. Got to be Very feeling impressed. good going into the rest of the series based on that. Because Chiefs are a tough team, especially Somniac and BK Sama. And uh, so do you, you must be feeling good. Are you feeling more confident now going into the rest of the series? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I think this is just your vibe, is it, Rups? You just play it down and then you come out and smash it, which is good. It's, it's different to some of the other players. It's very different. I like that take. All right, well, right now it's time for us to find out who the MVP is for that match. Righto, who is it, Lockie? Look, it can't be anyone else other than Dookie. And yeah. this man has had a rough Gfinity so far. He was struggling uh, to even take some rounds at some times. And then he comes out, gets perfected, and then takes two straight rounds against Somniac. 
Uh, amazing. And then uh, the two rounds against uh, ZG. Absolutely killed it. Well deserved. Well played. Definitely Dookie D. You must be feeling like a proud dad right now, Rob. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's all I can say. Your best little son. All right, so Dookie T is the Astro MVP for that match. Nicely played. Right now, though, uh, there's always winners and there's always losers. So let's check in right now with Ash, who's hanging out with the losing captain. Over to you, Ash. Hey, thanks, Luke. Yeah, I'm hanging out with ZG. An unfortunate loss. I'm so sorry for you guys. I mean, you're obviously feeling a bit devastated. Um, yeah, um, we planned for all this, but uh, like again, like I knew coming down, uh, we all knew like coming into this match, like everyone, every single one of them were, was dangerous, especially in the format that we're playing in. And uh, unfortunately things just didn't go our way. Like in my first game, like things went my way. When momentum was swinging in my favour, everything was all right, but. Yeah, it was, it was amazing. You had two perfects. And I wanted to ask, when it comes to those perfects, while you're trying to achieve those, do you try and focus on, I don't want to get hit, I want those perfects, or are you mostly just focused on getting that all-important win? Yeah, of course, the win is always the most important. But at the same time, this is a, a very momentum-based game. And sometimes when you can smell blood, you just got to go for it. Well, Rups and BK versus each other twice. Do you think uh, going into that second match, um, you really take what you got from that first match into your second match? Oh, of course. Like um, after BK lost, we all like discussed uh, what happened in that match. Like what was the, uh, Peter's habits in that match, uh, and we try to break it down and then try to recommend him what not to do in the next uh, match should he um, play him, and which he did. So. Um, yeah, again, sometimes things just don't go your way against a character that can force you into a, a guess situation. Sometimes you just got to, you guess right or you guess wrong. So what are you going to take from this week into next week? Well, win or, win or loss, like we would go back, uh, watch our replays, see what we did right and what we did wrong and hopefully play more solid for the next games. Well, best of luck for your next game. Hopefully it's another win for you guys and um, yeah, hope you have a good night. Thank you, you too. Bye. Back to you, Lukey. Well, if you want to come along